A surge in business at his Toa Peo Bakery has left its baker feeling conflicted. While grateful for the increase in patrons, bakery owner Fu Jin Fong Transliteration hopes that new customers can be considerate towards low-income elderly residents who depend on his low-priced buns. Reported Shin Min Daily News Business boomed after the traditional bakery was recently featured in the news for selling one pack of old-school buns for just one dollar. According to local media, eight days. The prices of the bakes at Omzin Cake Confectionery has remained unchanged for the past two decades, despite Fu's customers urging him to raise his prices. However, the 73-year-old baker is reluctant to do so. Explaining that there is a sizable elderly population in the neighborhood where some residents cannot even afford to pay one dollar. Sometimes, I just accept a few cents from them or give them bread for free. He told Eight Days. Fu starts baking just after midnight and packages over a thousand freshly baked buns into some 300 to 400 packs of four, according to the Chinese Evening Daily. His confectionery boasts over 30 varieties of buns and is only open on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and during the weekends from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. While the buns generally sell out just before 8 a.m. on a typical day, they were sold out at 6.15 a.m. last Sunday, December 3rd. One new patron who is not a Toa Peo resident had bought 20 packs of bread at a go, said Fu, pointing out that the elderly residents generally buy one pack at a time. Some elderly customers who visited the bakery later that morning were left disappointed. Fu shared that he can only bake a limited amount of bread every day and is not able to hire a helper due to space constraints. He told Shin Min that it would not be right to reject customers and he also does not wish to set purchase limits. Hence, he hopes for everyone to be considerate towards the elderly who are in need. When Shin Min visited the bakery at 5.40 a.m. on Tuesday, December 5th, Fu had sold nearly half of his bakes. All his buns were sold out an hour later, where some 10 packs of curry buns were sold to a well-dressed customer who drove to the shop. Noted a reporter. A regular customer with disabilities who visited the shop at 7 a.m. was seen leaving empty-handed, looking helpless and disappointed, Shin Min reported.